In this video, we will continue to talk about editing of ornaments. Remember, with editing of ornaments, you can always select one of the predefined placements. And I can click and hold, and all the placements will exhibit. I can select the placement, and if I don't like that, I can select Undo. If I want more options, I can click on the Advance bar, and that will open up additional changes that can be made. You can add ornaments by placing a check in the box by the position. The anchor ornament, remember, is always highlighted in red, and this means that all or other ornaments will change based on the changes you make to this ornament. To remove an ornament, simply uncheck the position. Now there are three layout styles that refer to the relationship of one ornament to another. And to show you these, I'm going to place the ornaments above and below the lettering. Let's choose, first of all, mirrors. Mirror will place the ornaments in mirror image to each other. Duplicate will place the ornament in the same direction, and cycle mirrors the ornaments both vertically as well as horizontally. So let's bring this back to the original position. I can also change the size of the ornament in the advance bar. I can unlock proportional lock and change only the width or only the height, or I can change them disproportionately. I can change the rotate by value and this rotates the ornament in relationship to the lettering. The mirror, the mirror under the anchor ornament will change the position of the ornament itself and not the relationship of the multiple ornaments as it does in the layout style. So I can mirror right left or I can mirror up and down. Then the margin is going to be the distance that the ornament is from the lettering. So by manipulating the values in the advance bar, I can create and edit my monogram design. 